it's that day, man. It is that day. We are going to uh, the uh, West Houston Archery uh, because they're one of the few prime dealers that are open today that have stuff on site. And I think I'm going to do it. So I want to shoot two bows today. This is my goal. I want to shoot two bows today. One is going to be the... Uh, I, I need to still shoot the Hoyt uh, Ventum. Uh, I think I'm going to do the 33 the Ventum 33 or see if they have a Pro 33 or whatever. Uh, then I'm going to go and I'm going to shoot the uh, Prime Inline 5 again. Just a double, triple, triple check to make sure that is what I want to get. So, uh, yeah, we're, I, dude, I'm super excited. I'm pumped. I'm a little nervous here, but because uh, it's just a big decision. I don't buy bows every day. I'm not one of these channels that, you know, I don't own an archery shop. I can't just, you know, buy a bow every year uh, or multiple bows every year and so it's got a big deal for me and so i'm a little excited but um yeah without further ado guys let's uh so actually uh, before we get into it uh i won't i, I don't think i'm going to be filming myself shooting i might do a little bit i don't think i'm going to film myself shooting these though because i really uh, i want to make sure that i'm in the experience and i make sure i'm making the right choice of bows here so basically i might shoot a little bit here just to show you you know you know, what's going on and everything and how it felt and how I shot it and everything. But uh, I might not film too much because, again, I'm trying to really just dial it in and make sure that uh, I'm making the right decision here. And I don't have a cameraman, so I am my own cameraman. Uh, every once in a while, I get my kids to help me out. I had Liana shoot something for me once, and I had Carson, Carson shoot something for me another time. But I'm my own cameraman, so like I said, I got to make sure that I'm paying attention to shooting these bows the way they should be shot, giving them the uh, duty dates are due, and I'll talk about it a little bit later. So, uh, all right, prayers, here we go. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Let's uh, check them out. All right, prayers, we made it here. We're at West Houston Archery. We're uh, fixing to go inside that big building there. Um, so it's interesting, kind of. Uh, I'll say interesting topic, but uh, one of the struggles I have here is that in Houston. There are very few archery shops. In my area, there was one that was literally 10 minutes from my house and it ended up going out of business and shutting down. Um, it was a good old Santa Fe archery, uh, missed that thing. Anyways, uh, so after that, that closed down, basically I was left with going either to Bass Pro Shops or Cabela's, but they just don't have what I need and I think they're Botex, you know, some of them are good guys and everything, but not all of them have the same skill set. Long story short, in order to find a dealer that sells all the bows that I want to try and to do all this stuff, I had to go uh, over or almost an hour from my house. So, anyways, guys, so here we go. I'm gonna go inside, run in here, and uh, let's shoot the bows. Real quick, let's talk about some bows that didn't quite make the cut. So the V3, the V3X, the, all the different lengths of them, they all felt really good in the hand. The grip was pretty decent, but they felt really top-heavy and kind of off-balance, and it didn't sit very well in my hand. Probably could have been fixed through stabilizers. The shot process was good, but it just wasn't quite what I was looking for. Next, we're going to talk about some of the PSEs. So the first one I held and shot was the PSE Embark. Uh, not a bad aluminumizer bow, uh, just wasn't quite the, some of the specs that I was looking for and uh, it worked over well overall though and the balance was a little bit off for my personal taste there. You can see how it kind of wanted to be top heavy on me there. Next was the uh, Stealth Mach 1. This is a good bow. Uh, I was really impressed by it. Had a lot of hand shock though, wasn't too fond of that. Uh, which, you know, the hand shock doesn't matter a whole lot, you know, because there's literally just a little bit of vibration in the bow, and most stabilizers will take care of that. Uh, overall, it was a really nice bow. The speeds were really great of it, but not a fan of that arrow shelf either. I just didn't like that too much. Next over here is the PSE Evo EVL. Again, this is also a really great bow. Uh, again, not a nice little buzz in it after you shoot it. Not a huge fan of that, but uh, overall it's pretty good. Uh, I think there's just some things about it that uh, I, I just, the grip was okay, balance was okay, uh, it just left me wanting more. But the Elites, I didn't actually shoot any of the Elites this year. I held the ones from this year and from previous years and just wasn't a big fan of really any of them. The grip was not right, the weight was off, the balance was off. There's just really honestly nothing in my personal opinion that I liked about these, so I didn't even care to shoot them. So. 
So I tried out this used RX-5 here from Hoyt, and uh, I, I didn't get to shoot it last year because I was way out of my price range, but pre-owned it was a little bit better. Uh, still not a huge fan. Uh, the RX-7 was also a nice one I shot it, but it was again way out of my price range at like $1,900. Uh, but then I also shot the Ventum. The Ventum is very similar, but it's an Illuminizer, and it shot really, really well. I was very impressed with it. Onto the Botex, they shot really nice, they felt pretty good in the hand, they uh, shot processors really good, but I was not a fan of any of the grips from the SR350 onto the Solution and the Solution SS, and the grip is a really important part to me because that is a main interface with the bow. If you don't feel like the grip is comfortable, your shots are not going to be consistent. Alright guys, I did it, so I uh, just put down a deposit and had them order a bow. So let me tell you real quick. Uh, what happened so basically i was went in i shot i told them i was like all right these are the two bows that i've got that i really want to shoot uh let's go ahead and shoot them uh one of them was the prime in line five they had it in stock uh they had it one with the tan and with the uh camo limbs and i wanted to get uh something a little different uh they also had the uh ventum they had the 33 in stock uh and it was in black and uh that was fine anyways uh, so I went and I shot the, the Ventum first. The grip felt pretty nice. It's got a rubberized grip on it. And, uh, you know, the quality, the, the feel of the grip was okay. Wasn't quite as good as uh, the Prime, but it was definitely a little bit less uh, cold to the touch in this air-conditioned building. And, you know, it's kind of cold outside right now. It's 50 degrees. The draw cycle was really smooth on that Ventum. And whenever I got to the back wall, it was a little spongy because it's got a string stop but not a uh, limb stop. And so, got back there, I was holding, everything felt okay. I noticed there's a little bit of wobble side to side of the bow whenever I was just holding and holding. Um, and so I really shot dead in the hand. There was no vibration or anything like that. Very good. Then I picked up the inline five, which is the 35 inch axle axis. It's a little bit bigger axle axle length. Put my hand on the grip, absolutely love the grip still. Uh, then I uh, drew back, draw cycles, just what I remember, nice and smooth. Hit that back wall, and oh my god, I love that back wall thing. It's just like a rock. So I, I feel like, you know, if I'm in a tree stand or something like that, and I'm leaning over, and I, I feel like that bow is not going anywhere on me. So really awesome. Uh, so then, I like I say, I executed the shot, and there's just the tiniest bit of vibration. It's like, boom, and it's gone. Just like a little bit of vibration, kind of like a thump. It was just like tiny, tiny bit of vibration. And uh, yeah, it was, it was gone away. So love it, love it, worked great. Uh, the inline five was shooting about with the exact same draw weight. Actually, the Hoyt was drawing about 72, whereas the uh, inline five was drawing about 70. The inline five shot uh two feet per second faster or one foot per second faster so basically you know if they all apples were the same it'd probably be a few more uh feet faster and i'm ordering the system with 80 pounds so either of the bows that i have are going to shoot even faster than that all in all guys what i ended up choosing i ended up going with the prime inline five and the hammered gray with black limbs and i think it's going to look sick uh, super excited to get it in, guys, and uh, we'll let you know more. I'll update you as it comes in. Got a little lead time because it's 80 pounds. Uh, they have to ship it with custom limbs, you know, all that stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot. Looks great. Super excited. I'll let you know more as they update me, and uh, we'll check you guys soon.